The robot wars are beginning. The thing that everybody knew was going to happen as uh, the government and other governments are building robots. You always see those videos online uh, from whatever that robot organization is that makes robots for DARPA. I think that's it. Uh, you know, they've got their all their different robots that they've been making over the last decade, at least. Uh, and you see videos. You see videos of robots, like humanoid-looking robots that do parkour. You see, uh, before that, there's been a huge amount of the, quote-unquote, dog versions. Uh, the robots that look like uh, dogs. Uh, they've been around for probably a little bit longer. They are currently going to be using the dog robots, uh, referred to as Spot. Uh, they will be using those to monitor the borders. Uh, I mean, uh, specifically the southern borders. Uh, you don't really ever hear about any border issues with Canada, even though I would imagine most people that are of uh, lacking in melanin content in their skin could pretty effortlessly... Uh, get into the country illegally through Canada. Uh, but it's no, it's the brown people that, that we are worried about in this country. Uh, it is the brown people that get, uh, that get blamed for everything in this country, uh, especially for people on the conservative side. Uh, they are a common, common enemy uh, because they are not white. I mean, white supremacy within the United States is disgustingly rampant uh, and uh, controls a lot of the decision making that goes on systematically uh, throughout the government. One of those being this this idea of the southern border of the U.S. letting in uh, dangerous people uh, as if all of the terrorist acts and domestic terrorism in this country uh, are all just white dudes. Uh, but we have to they have to keep pushing the narrative that it's the brown people from the south that we have to be worried about. And I believe I forget exactly what source, uh, but I believe there was a study that showed that uh, immigration from uh, from Mexico and Southern America has dropped considerably. There's actually more people uh, leaving the United States to go live in Mexico. Uh, than there are uh, people from Mexico trying to come up uh, and live here. Not to say that that's not, it's stopped or anything like that. Uh, and I could be wrong on the specifics of that. But it's not as big of an issue uh, as one would think. It's just a common, it's just one of the many common things that the conservatives like to uh, throw out as something to get people scared, to get racists scared in this country. And despite the fact that we have a Democratic president uh, in, the, in, in the office, we have a, a Democrat, Biden is, is pretty conservative. As far as, uh, as far as the liberal side of the political spectrum goes, uh, Biden is far more conservative than I would like. Uh, so it's not that surprising that this is happening under his uh, presidency. Uh, but Border Patrol is planning to release robot attack dogs. Uh, so this post right here from Walter Masseson. Uh, I am attaching a guide, which this is something he posted on Twitter, but then repurposed for his Instagram account. Uh, so he says here, I am attaching a guide on how to uh, fucking deactivate and destroy them. Uh, please share and add my uh, add any knowledge you have. Uh, this is dhs.gov slash science. And well, I guess it, the link kind of goes away. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be implementing these these robotic dogs, which I don't know if they're they, they don't have. I don't know if they're going to have weapons attached. So the 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 term of attack dogs, I don't know if that's necessarily an accurate uh, thing but if i'm sure this is a trial run this is the government going we are going to be using this to control uh populations right because uh eventually all the people in america are going to realize that they are living in a country that is uh primarily con concerned about making the most amount of money for the rich people that already exist uh it is not a place that 
as it is at all concerned with the average working person. Like everything in our country is designed specifically to enhance the wealth of the wealthy and is designed in every aspect to make the normal person nothing more than a cog in their machine. That is why they don't want to raise minimum wage. That's why they don't want to give universal health care. That's why they don't. They want to make everything as illegal as possible in order to fill their prisons. That's how modern day slavery works. So anyway, because this is the beginning of what will be a robot war. Our country will be using robots against citizens, which means police officers uh, acting as terrorists uh, will probably go down in time because robots will take over that job, I'm sure. Maybe maybe be a little bit more uh, human than some of the police officers. Anyway, so here's here's some information. This is for educational purposes only. Uh, If you want to dismantle these robots for whatever reason, this is how you do it. First off, make sure you don't put your hands anywhere near their joints. Their shoulder joints, their knee joints, crush your fingers. Don't do it. Uh, The batteries on most of these are going to be placed in half mass and center mass, uh, similarly to an animal. So if you have a gun, uh, you can shoot the lithium batteries. They are not protected by any armor. I would imagine... As these robots start being uh, destroyed, uh, they will add armor plating to them. They will add these things that will make it harder to disable. But as of right now, the robots that they're throwing out there are fairly easy to to take down. So you can shoot them if you have a gun. You shoot those lithium batteries, bada bing, bada boom. There's also power buttons. But there's two buttons. There's two separate buttons. There's a power button, and then there's a button that just shuts down all the motors. So if you're going, if you have access to, if you have the ability, you're close enough to, uh, you can push uh, the 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 button that will disable. Uh, it will. It's a motor lock button. It locks all the motors in place uh, to disable the thing uh, instead of hitting the the power button. But either one you can do. So it's got all of these. Uh, different things if you are somebody that's behind the robot you will have access to where the power button is as well as the motor locking button Um, if you're somebody that's being attacked by this robot and you are the prime uh, target of the robot there are places where you can pull uh, the handles there are handles on this robot where you can actually remove the the battery so there are things that you can do that are uh, described in detail in the in this post. Uh, it also shows how easily booby traps work for these robots. They are they don't do well with inclines. They get trapped in a hole. There's not a whole lot they can do. This is like this is literally stage one. This is the government putting out their alpha experiment, right? That's not even in beta yet, right? Eventually, probably in the next decade i would imagine there are going to be laws passed that will allow these things to roam streets for your own safety they will sell you on it as in this is going they're going to make you scared of all the brown people right maybe there'll be a fake terrorist attack or something like that and they'll sell you on this these robots are going to keep you safer from all the from all these scary boogeymen that are out there. Meanwhile, it's just a way for them to to control the people and not, you know, sacrifice human life. It's the same reason why they're using drones in war more than they used to, because it costs far less human life to have a little remote controlled drone go bomb a party of people, go kill a bunch of women and children. So for educational purposes, if you are looking for uh, ways in which you can dismantle or destroy these robots, please go to Walter Walter Masterson uh, on Instagram or Twitter uh, and look up. 
he's got these uh, schematics and everything on there uh, for you to easily. I mean, it's it's good to have information on how to protect yourself because this is stage one. And I'm not a crazy conspiracy theorist. It's just technology is going to grow. Like they they're not investing all this time and money into developing these robots for fun. They're not doing it to become waiters. Like they're not going to replace waiters in a restaurant with robots, even though they probably will eventually. That is not what these robots are being. That's not what the government makes stuff for. Government makes stuff to kill people or to control people. And the current population of America is something they desperately want to control because the system of government in this country is not designed for the people anymore. It is designed for billionaires. It is designed for the ultra-wealthy to get what they want. And what they want is to be able to control everybody. And what a better, what, an, what a less overhead to deal with uh, than robots.